Hello, welcome back to another episode of Next Station Ron Konkuma. I'm your host, Ashley. I am your host, Danny. Sorry, just us this week. <laughs> the anticipation. <laughs> I know. There's nobody else. I put the little pause there for a reason. I'm like, sorry, just us. You're stuck with us, fuckers. Sorry, not sorry. But um, Chris is a veteran guest now, so he'll be back. Don't you worry. Yeah, I wouldn't even say he's like a veteran guest. He's like almost like a half in, half out co star. Another host? Yeah. Oh. Half in, half out. Half in, half out. Because he's not here next to me. Yeah. It's like, yo, what's up, fam? Not and it's here. Just crickets. Yeah. He'll be back. He wants to be here. Yeah. We're busy. Yeah. That's why, too, uh, this episode is going to be a quick one because we're just busy. Very busy. But. We're not going to let you guys down. We're nope. not going to skip a week. Still here. Also, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. If you're listening on the day of release, this episode is released on Halloween. Are you trick-or-treating? Am I trick-or-treating? No. No? No one's going to... Th- dressing up? No. No, I don't have a costume either. Yeah, no one's going to give me candy. I'm not a kid. That's I'm not rude. a child. We like candy, too. Actually, you know what? I did get candy today. Trick or treating? No. I was waiting to pick up a truck, and the guy's like, "Oh, if you want any snacks or coffee or anything in the the little waiting area over there, just help yourself." That was nice. They had peanut butter M and M's, the little the little uh, fun size or snack size ones. Mm-mm. There was like six of them in there. Yeah. It was good though. It was good. A nice little snack. You get more if it's the plain M and M's, but then they're plain. I have a secret. Hmm. I took one of those too. <laughs> the plain M and M's. But yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It was good. Mm-hmm. It was a little snack. I've been trick or treating from my own stash of candy for the trick or treaters at my house. Sorry, kids. I'm gonna call you out on something. Hmm? You always trick or treat, and you never bring me anything. You just show up you eating M and M's. Get it yourself. <laughs> You're just like, you're just sitting there eating M&M's. I'm just I like, don't. wow, where'd you get those from? No idea until I realized you <laughs> bought candy for trick-or-treaters and you've been trick-or-treating uh, yourself and not sharing anything with me. You can get whatever you want. I don't know what you want. I don't know if you already you know I want M&Ms yourself. And to exp- I didn't know the bag was open until like the third time I realized you were just trick-or-treating for yourself. <laughs> I was digging in there. Yeah. I'm like, oh, wow, cool. I don't want anything. Thanks. You can have whatever Thanks you want. Thanks for nothing. Wow. Yeah. There's Calling also you little right bags of... <laughs> First beginning of the episode, just us. Like, ha! Sick invite to the candy party. Love you. Yeah, I love you too. There's also little bags of pretzels. I don't think those are open yet. Yeah, no shit. But as soon as trick-or-treating is done tomorrow, like, they're mine. Pre- they're... Pretzels aren't candy. I know, but like they're still it's a little snack pack, so it's good to, you know, just take with you or you know. When you bought the pretzels, I'm like, no one wants those. You're gonna be that house on the block. They give them pre- yeah. hey. Skip that house. They have pretzels. At they don't have M&Ms. At least it's not like a non edible thing. People like pretzel kids like pretzels. Kids like M and M's more. Yeah, probably. Or Twix bars, or Snickers bars, or anything but pretzels. Anything but pretzels. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like pretzels. No, yeah, I'm not giving out like raisinets. Oh, that'd be worst. I would skip your house. <laughs> right. Like I wouldn't even come over that day. Like, there's ho- those houses that give over, give o- give out like raisinets, Twizzlers, dots. Like who wants that shit? I'd be pissed. Yeah. Like they, would, they would give me like. Twizzlers or something like that. I'm like, yo, fuck this yeah. and just leave it. Fuck you. Just leave it. <laughs> <laughs> or some kid be walking up the driveway, like, as I'm walking down the driveway, like, oh, here, that's what they got. Take mine too. <laughs> kid be like, yo, mom, let's go. Let's skip this house. They got Twizzlers. <laughs> I, like, if you're a fan of Twizzlers, my bad, but I'm not, so fuck off. Yeah, I like Twizzlers every once in a while, but not as a kid trick or treating. But, um, now the new thing is to do a trunk or treat. Like, y'all, y'all killed Halloween. There's, 
like trick or treating is dead. Yeah, instead of going house to like, the whole thing was right. You like bring I don't, in, I don't really, I don't really get many. Yeah, me either. I also like my area is not like big or big on trick or treating, but like still. I feel like like we used to get a lot more, but now yeah, like obviously like it depends on if kids live in your area. Like yeah, I get that, but like yeah, I like, feel like I hear that from a lot of people in different towns. Like I like my neighborhood has a lot of kids, but still like you you guys get more than I do. Yeah, we got a, some, but mm-hmm. still like I don't know. It's I feel like it's been a it's been a dying thing. Yeah. And now with the whole trunk or tree thing, it's like yeah, I get it. Like it's a smaller area, and you just got to go trunk to trunk. But bro, like the whole thing was to go out and get go walk as many blocks as possible right after school to get as much candy as possible in your pillowcase. Yeah. To then go home and brag about it, and then the next day I go to school and be like, "Yo, I got all this candy," and now it's like, "Yeah, I went to this parking lot, and I went to four different cars, and got all this candy." It's not the same. It's just not the same. It's not the same. You're supposed to be tired from walking all those blocks, getting all that candy. You layer because usually it's cold. Yeah. Now you just, oh yeah, I went to the three different parking lots this weekend. And they don't even do it tree. on Halloween. Yeah. It's like the weekend before you're going trick or tr- like what is yeah, that? Yeah, we drove past one of those on Saturday. I'm like everybody it's not even Halloween yet. Everybody was doing it Saturday, like everybody Saturday. Yeah. What the? F- yeah, that's, that's messed up. It's not, th- but the kids nowadays like they don't even know. They will never know the trick or treating experience that we had. Yeah, like I feel bad for the kids that were born born like during or post COVID. It's like you're not gonna know never know you'll never know because that too like parents do it for like safety reasons like yeah yeah if you have a sketchy i'm sorry go ahead no i just i we're not parents like i don't know i can't say like oh i wouldn't do that right i don't know i'm not saying to do it or not to do it i'm just saying it's a much different experience yeah than what we had we i don't ever remember doing a trunk or treat like no I feel like I remember sometimes maybe going to, like, the firehouse. Right. You know? Like, they do, like, a thing. But, like, on Halloween. Right. You know? Or, like, my cousin did a haunted house at the school. Or, like... Yeah. You know, we we did that. That was cool. But we still try to get as many houses as we, as we could. But yeah. now, like, back in my day, like, I'm dating myself here, but... Well, we had a sketchy neighbor... So the the solution was don't go to their house. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't know about that guy. So you just skip that house and go to the ne- one next to it. Yeah. Then the little lady, like, you know, she went to Costco and bought the king size bar. So you went back to her house twice that night. Like, yeah. but you don't, <laughs> if, if you, if you're Change question, your mask. Yeah. If you, if you're questionable about like someone's house, like don't go there. But again, like Ashley said, we don't have kids, so we can't talk from that experience. Like, you know, it's. The scary time we live in, but like it was a scary time in the seventies, it was a scary time in the eighties. It's gonna always be a scary time we live in. It's the world. It's what we have to deal with. But at the same time, I'm just saying from my point of view, like kids aren't gonna know trick or treating anymore. It's you know, you go you go to Party City, you spend all this money on a costume to go to trunk or treat <laughs> three weekends in a row or three different trunk or treat treats on the same Saturday. Bro, it's not the same. It's it's not the same. It's not. Yeah. But like again, do do whatever you feel safe doing. Right. But let kids be kids too. Yeah, like I'm going to a parking lot with mom's Nissan Pathfinder with her trunk open and a bowl of candy. It's just not it <laughs> it's that it doesn't sit It's not it for me. It doesn't sit well with me. It's I'm sorry, it's not trick or treating. No, it's very different. Because you're going to the trunk or tree with all of your mom's friends. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like hopefully your your classmates there too. You get to show off your costume, but you're gonna go to his mom and be like trick or treat. Like, Do you remember, like I just remember, like, like you said, like walking blocks and just going yeah. to as many houses as you can, and then you get home and like your parents like order you pizza and like you just eat pizza and right. then, like candy and it just that was like it was so much fun. Um, yeah, and also I'm not trying to be that guy, but in this in today's world in today's day and age, like. We need to go out and get more exercise, not less. That too, yeah. Like, we, we need to walk those blocks. You guys are just walking around parking lots. We yeah. were walking blocks. We were walking blocks back in the day. 
Like I try and wind up like <laughs> ten blocks from my house. My parents are like we gotta go back. We start heading back. And I'm like no, we have to get more houses. <laughs> yeah. But like yeah, we those... used to do blocks back in the day, guys. All right, not not ten parking spots. We were doing <laughs> trying to do ten blocks. Yeah, that was good times. Yeah, but that was like I was born in the nineties. You know, it's a whole different. Different. It's a different world. It's a scary world we live in now. Different world. But like you said, the, the 90s was different. The 80s was different. The 70s were different. Like, yeah. Now it's different. It's different. But like, can't be afraid of the world. Yeah. Think it's about it. It's always going to be scary. But yeah. what do you, you know? It, what, whatever generation it was, there's always that one thing that was like very scary. There's something very scary in the 70s and 80s and the 90s. There's always that one thing everyone's afraid of. Like, yeah. afraid of. Like, we still have it now. Like, the, the the time, the year might change, but there's always going to be that one thing glooming overhead. Like, oh, we're afraid of that right now. Like, yeah. you're always going to have that. And not for nothing, too, if, you know, God, God forbid. But, like, I, you're listening to this, so, like, you survived. Right. You know, just... I don't know. Be maybe a little more um, lighthearted about things, maybe. Exactly. You can't be afraid of everything. Yeah. A lot of people are, but again, you know, do do whatever makes you feel safe. It's those irrational fears. Yeah. <laughs> Some of those people got those irrational fears. Some of them are rational, but some are rational. Some are yeah. very irrational. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I went to one halloween thing i did this year sick invite i went to one of those uh pop-up shows i was not invited it was did you want to be invited yeah <laughs> yeah i just went, i went with my coworkers. actually um i got a phone call today my buddy george was like yo danny you want to go to a haunted house right i'm like Hell yeah! He's like, er, I won't without you, but I'll try and find another one to go with you too. Wow, rude. Yeah, I knew he went though because our son. Sent yeah, me everybody went and didn't invite you. Yeah, what the fuck? Tony went too, motherfucker. What the fuck? Yeah, he said. Rude. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead though. So it was um they do these pop up shows um for like Halloween stuff, Christmas stuff. They do, like, Harry Potter ones, Alice in Wonderland, I think, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, all my favorite things. And so we finally, <laughs> my coworker, like, brought it up, whatever. So I finally got to go to one. And it was a Hocus Pocus theme. So they had the three sisters there singing and dancing and taking pictures with you. And it was so cute. And it was, like, decorated the whole room was decorated like top to bottom with like Halloween and Hocus Pocus stuff and the characters and there was even a little Binks a little <laughs> black cat I was like oh it I was, was gonna ask you if, uh, if the cat was there yeah well it it wasn't a real cat oh what the fuck <laughs> no it was a fake one <laughs> I was gonna say was it the real sisters too no no but they were good not. I've seen some scam that were not very good oh, but, really? the, but these ones were they were they did good they were very in character okay that's good yeah that's cool it was really cute it's it's like it's a little pricey that's why like we've never really done it either yeah because like you pay for the ticket you pay between like 20 and 30 dollars just to go and that includes like basically your ticket <laughs> Like, yeah. you get to walk in the door. It includes, like, a picture with them and, like, a souvenir cup, like, but that's pretty much it. Yeah. And then you have to pay separately for whatever food and drinks you order. Okay. So, it's, you know, but it's a fun time. It's really cute. I yeah. want to do the Christmas one. There's a Christmas one, and then there's, like, a Grinch one that's, like, adults only. So cute. And there's, um, what was the other thing? Hmm, might have been something else. I don't know. But super cute. I would recommend, you know, okay. at least try, uh, you know, yeah. going to see it. Sick lack of an invitation. I have a question for you. Yeah. Souvenir cups. 
Mm -hmm. You said, did you get a souvenir cup? Yeah. Did you bring it home with you? Yeah. When are you going to throw it out? Well. Because that's a thing. Well. You're all hyped up for a souvenir cup. You got to have it. You have to spend the $10 for the cup to have it for that day. And then you keep it for like a week or two. Maybe it winds up in a cabinet and then it gets thrown out. You're talking like. You go to an amusement park and you or get or baseball souvenir. game, yeah, football game. You get the souvenir cup because it's like free refills. It's usually that, not even, but like yeah, yeah, you try to get the free refill. And like no, yeah. you got to spend a, you got to buy another refill. I'm like no, 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 I get, I was told I get free refills yeah, with this cup. This is the like, special cup. They're like nope, yeah. fuckers. Yeah, I know. Like it's because it's usually like a better deal if it is free refills. Yeah, like oh, I might as well just get the souvenir cup, but right. then what do you do with it after a while exactly it's like what it you you the whole thing is like i'm trying to think of it as like what am i going to do with this cup now like i i wanted the souvenir cup it was for the memories all right now i have it now what do i do with it it's like do i, I put it in the cabinet with the rest of the souvenir cups that i have that have like they have meaning to them but like sentimental value like why am i gonna keep a souvenir cup you haven't touched them since that right day. like i know this is kind of a stupid topic but like is this something relatable i want to say to other people like what do i do with this fucking cup now yeah like, literally sits in the cabinet for right. five years and then then spring cleaning comes around out. and it's like all right this cup was cool at that point in time but now i have no use for it so now it goes mm -hmm. yeah this one <laughs> it wasn't even like a cool souvenir cup no it was literally like I don't know, like it has the witches on it. Like it's just it's hocus pocus. Okay. But it's a little like it's the small souvenir. Cup. It's right. Like it's oh, small. It's God. like a pint size, I wanna say. You what know, like the fuck? it's just a small nothing to it besides the little decoration on the outside. Mm. Yeah. It's a scam. Paid twenty five dollars for that cup. <sighs> that hurts. <laughs> The the cheap bastard inside of me is like, oh, God. $25 got me that cup and a picture. And a picture. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, the picture. With the sisters. I'm, I just, I know it was a little yeah. stupid, little stupid topic. I just, I had to ask. It's true, though. You're right. I don't know. Like, I have baseball game cups, football game cups. I'm like, yeah. I look at them I'm like, if I move, I'm not taking these with me. Right. No. Those are the things that are in the do not take pile yeah yeah ashley says my do not take pile is very small compared to my must take with me pile on things that i would take with me if i was moving like we we've talked about it. we compared like you know if i if i was to move i'm taking this with me i'm not taking that mm -hmm. and then ashley's like no no no, you're not taking any of this with you i'm like but i have to no. like the seven sets of wheels for my truck you better believe all seven sets are coming with me if i move no yes not necessary. Yes. All seven. No room. Sorry. Maybe six. No. Nope. Uh, that's the compromise I'm going to do. Maybe six sets for my one truck. Exactly. They're coming. Unnecessary. She said yes. Well, uh, yeah. She shook her head up and down yes. Absolutely not. She did. Once we get video going for these podcasts, you can see. Wow. Proof. That's a little <laughs> bit of foreshadowing mm. and maybe trying to call my bluff. We've talked about it a lot, though. Yeah, she said yes. So that's all that matters. Okay, moving on to the next subject. Moving on. Real quick, I just want to say, if you're new here, thank you for joining us. Um, we're 23 episodes in. So 23 and me. Go. <laughs> don't, don't talk about... Okay, it, they're, they're under some heat right now. All right. I'm just kidding. Well, either or way. just yeah, anyway um <laughs> you wanted me to do that and i told you no that's why 23 episodes so yeah if you're new here um obviously go back and listen to the first 22 episodes jesus, jesus. christ bless you and if no, you're thank you not new here thank you for sticking around we are doing this for you and bless you <laughs> Oh, she said thank you. She said thank you on that one. <laughs> Always so many noises. If you're new here, I'm sorry. Before the sirens are going, yeah, we're recording live from thank, the hood. <laughs> thank God, before we started recording, yeah, it was sirens. There was like a 
purge whistle going. I don't even know what was happening out there. That was from the firehouse. I'm kidding. I know what it was. I'm sorry. Yeah, the purge. Halloween's tomorrow. Close. So, yeah. We appreciate you being here. New or veteran followers. Um, Keep listening. Keep following and subscribing. Um, Don't forget to look up our YouTube. If you are only a listener, thank you, obviously. We appreciate you. But also go check out our YouTube and just hit that subscribe button and maybe like a couple videos and, you know. The more videos you like, the more, the quicker you will have an actual video. I'm saying it right now. Start liking videos, guys. Challenge. And share. Share with a friend. Share with a coworker. Don't share with grandma. Just share, like, on your social medias. Just share it. Like, it just, it's like two clicks of a button. Right. If you like it, share it. Maybe someone else will like it. I'm sure someone else will like it. Sharing is caring. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. And share. By the way, um, like she said, if you're new here, hello, I'm Danny. I'm your friend. You have any questions for me? Reach out on social media, on Instagram. You know, I say it all the time. Like, I, I'm always down to make more friends. Next station around Konkuma, at Danny. Yeah, at Danny. If you go to Costco, tell them Danny from Next Station around Konkuma sent you. Just say, at Danny, at Next Station around Konkuma. Pay for your food, and then tell them that I sent you. Yep. You got a hot dog and a soda. Dollar fifty. You're welcome. That's all it takes. Do you want to do our what did we eat this week? Speaking of food. Please, let's do it. What did we eat this week? We went to the Peter Pan Diner. Peter Pan Diner in Bayshore. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. It's questionable, yeah, but I think um, so. it's around there. I think it's right off Sunrise Highway. It is, yeah. Um, I've never been. You said you were a long time ago, maybe. Years ago. Yeah. Um, I've seen it every once in a while, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never been in it, but I it was recommended to me, and I don't regret it. I don't regret it at all. It was delicious. And a uh, fun fact, I actually went to a diner the night before that also, and I have to say... The Peter Pan Diner was a much better experience for me. Yeah. The food was much more delicious. Yeah, definitely tasted, like, more fresh. Yeah. Yeah, we were on a little diner kick because I've been, like, craving a diner. Yeah. And we just You're the only haven't one. gone. Yeah, like, Danny doesn't want to go, so. We went to the diner so much. I know. We, we did that thing where you, like, overdo it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm over it. I'm I'm good to go back now. But Danny's still a little uh, it was over like it all the time. <laughs> Whatever. Because diners That's they were twenty four hours. It was yeah. twenty four hours. Diners were twenty four hours. We always worked late, and so it's like, oh, let's just go get some. Let's go to the diner real quick, or little. Let's go to Little Vinny's. Even though Little Vinny's is like the middle of fucking nowhere. I feel like right now, but it's not a diner. It's not a diner, but it's a it's a. We overdid it. It's an eatery that's open late. And we overdid it. And we overdid it, yeah. But the diner, you know, it was 24 hours, so we'd go all the time. Or we'd go with friends and whatever. Like it was, Yeah, like if we're hanging out late, it was open, so. Yeah. I'm, like I said, I'm over it. I'm over the over the overdone part. I'm yeah. back with it. Back Danny's, with it. Danny's still a little hesitant. I'm getting back into it. But, but the... The Peter Pan Diner was definitely, I would say, better. Oh, yeah. It was incredible. I'd definitely go back. really good. We got the potato skins to start. Yeah. Really good. Always a solid choice. Yes. Very, very much so. What'd you get for your meal? I forgot what it was called. It was like something smoke. Was it called like the smokehouse or something like that? Something like that. Texas smoke or whatever. I don't know. Mm Mm-hmm. It was... Uh, you had a choice of grilled or fried chicken. I want my fried on sourdough bread, and it was like drenched in barbecue sauce and cheddar cheese on top with bacon. Mm. And then I got waffle fries on the side, extra barbecue sauce on the side, and ranch. And it was incredible. 
Yeah. Not something I would normally get. I would usually get a burger or chicken tenders because I'm a five year old. But uh, I got the sandwich this time, and I do not regret it. It was absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. So good. And the ranch, Ashley said it was a little extra ranch y, but it was still, I, I thought it was incredible. And the barbecue sauce had such a rich, smoky flavor to it. Yeah. Highly recommend. Even Ashley, who's not a biggest barbecue sauce person, she was even like, wow, it's really good. Yeah. I'm very, really not. very good. But yeah, the smoky flavor got me. Yeah. Incredible. And yeah, the ranch, like, it just had that, like, strong, like, Hidden Valley ranch flavor. Yeah. You're not a fan of Hidden Valley. I'm not. But it was still, like, the cons the consistency was there. Yeah. You know, it wasn't too thick. It was, it was still really good. It was thick with one C, not two Cs. Yeah. But it's still good. Still very good. Yeah. What'd you get? I got a burger. Um... I w the only thing I wasn't too happy with it was very it was pretty well done. Yeah. Um, you didn't do my trick. I know. I ordered I have a trick. It, I ordered it medium. Danny's been doing this thing where he orders medium rare because then it actually comes out medium. <laughs> <laughs> most play mo in most cases. Yeah. I I don't trust doing that, so I didn't do that. <laughs> Should have done it. It would have worked. Should have, I guess. But yeah, it was. I ordered medium, and it was. F there was zero pink. Yeah, it was pretty well. Like the the ends were burnt. Like it was. Yeah. Yeah, it was well done. It was well. It, it was wasn't even medium well. well. It was yeah, just well done. That was my only complaint. If it would have been actually medium, it would have been a lot better. Yeah. It was still really good though. I think it had mozzarella cheese. Yeah, it did. And then it had mushrooms and onions. Uh, it was supposed to be like fried onions. It said fried onions. It those did. Are, those are grilled. I have pictured being like crispy, you know, like breaded. Yeah. Or, or like the little crispy ones or something. Like, right. But no, they were straight up grilled or sauteed, whatever. Which, whatever, but it was it was still good. Um, and then I think there was bacon on it. Yes. Um, you gave me some of your bacon. Yeah. I only like a little bit. Just yeah, just a little bit for the flavor. Um, anything else on there? Um, oh, you had the barbecue sauce on the side. Yeah, they gave me barbecue sauce and ranch on the side also. So I kind of just, oh, I put I put some ranch on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I did. I wasn't like a huge fan, but I was like, you know what? It is really good, and I always like a good condiment added. <laughs> always with the sauces. Always, and then. I got steak fries because they had that as an option. Yeah. I think they had like what regular sweet potato waffle curly steak fries. Yeah. Curly fries too. Yeah, curly fries wow. too. They had every fry option. Wow. I'm a big fan of fries. I'm a really big fan of waffle Good fries. Good selection. But they gotta be seasoned. I need my waffle yeah, fries seasoned. I need my fries seasoned in general. Yeah, I I disagree. Uh, I, I like, like I, I like, like a, a good, good seasoning. <laughs> I'm a no, bit, it's too much for me. I like a good se like the Wingstop seasoned fries. Yeah, like, I like a good seasoning. I like the ones with the least seasoning on it. You can have them. Yeah, like <laughs> I. <laughs> it's too much sometimes. Red Robin seasoning. Yes, but like a little bit. Mm. Just uh. a little, like just a. I like a little zest, a little kick on my fries. Very little. You can have all the little seasoned fries all you want. <laughs> I want the ones that are seasoning. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, and then, okay, so we went all out because we had to try. Um, there may have been leftovers involved. Oh, yeah, there definitely but was. I, because I also heard very good things about their dessert, so we had to save room for dessert. I got their rice pudding with whipped cream. <laughs> what, yeah. What did you get? What did you think of the rice pudding before I say mine? It was good. Yeah. Yeah. It was, um, I wish they didn't put so much cinnamon on it. Uh, I kind of. Again. I know. I, I like seasonings. Okay, guys. I do. Yeah. Just not on with certain, with certain things. I, you just don't really need a lot. 
Mm. But, um, yeah, sometimes it, I don't know, like, there's cinnamon already in it, isn't there? Or no? They just put Um, it on top. Depends on the recipe. Yeah, it's true. But I'm good with just plain rice pudding, plain whipped cream. You don't gotta add cinnamon. But they had it, like, it was, like, on the bottom, and then the rice pudding, and then yeah. on top, and then whipped cream, and then more, so, like, it was, it was a little much. And you put it in a fancy glass, too? Yeah, it was in a little cute little cup. <laughs> yeah, really good. The consistency was there. It was, yeah, it was very good. That's good. I'm not a big rice pudding person myself, but I actually had a couple bites of yours. It was really good for rice pudding. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of rice pudding, but, you know, it was it was good. I feel like my mom, I don't going to be that guy. My mom makes rice pudding, and I, everyone raves about it, but I've actually never tried it myself. You've tried it. Really? Yeah. Hmm. You sure? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't remember. I don't recall. I got to try it again. Mom, make rice pudding. She'll do it now. Mm. But I had a Moose Tracks... Ice uh, milkshake because mm. then I'm like, oh, milkshake. I've had a milkshake in forever. I know Scalzo would say he's a good, very big fan of a plain vanilla or chocolate milkshake, mm-hmm. but I had it's to try very to, good once in a while. Yeah, I had to get the Moose Tracks one because I love peanut butter, vanilla yeah. and peanut butter things. And it had peanut butter cups inside the milkshake. Mm-hmm. It's very good. They only they didn't give me a spoon though. Chris would be very upset. No spoons were included. I had to steal your spoon from the rice pudding. Yeah, that's true. I, I took a little bit of your shake with the spoon. Yeah. It was weird. But uh, it was it was good. It was a really good milkshake. And I haven't had a diner milkshake in probably ever. So it was nice. It was very, very good. I definitely recommend going there, Peanut Pan yeah. Diner. Tell them Danny from Next Station on Conkuma sent you to Peter Pan Diner. And uh, they're going to tell you who the hell is that. But whatever. Sure. Have a seat. Still do it. I still do it because one day it will work. Yep. It will. One day. Mark my words. Episode 23. Danny said one day this will work. That was our what did we eat this week? That was our what did we eat this week? I just want to share a couple polls we had from last week. Please. Um. So, even though our... Uh, co-host other host i don't want to put a label on him but you know he's not here but we'll still go over what happened last episode um well the polls so we did a poll because we talked about being um either a silent hustler or if you like to share your hustle whatever you want to call it and more people said silent hustler that was the top answer. I was expecting that. Yeah. That was too, I think. Um, was the producer a silent hustler? or? A she was like a half and half. Half and half. Producer's not here either. So. Um, yeah. We had to produce this one ourselves. Yeah. Um, Where you at, producer? She was a milestone sharer. Gotcha. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um... Our other very important question was your preference of fork size. <laughs> so, we uh, we came to the conclusion that... Well, we thought we came to the conclusion that moms like small forks. Yeah. But your mom used a big fork, she right. said. But either way, the poll on Instagram, the results were... The number one answer was big fork. People right. like big forks. They do. The number two answer was depends on what I'm eating. That's fair. So that is fair. That could go either way. And then small fork came in third. Last. Hmm. So. Okay. It just kind of surprised me because I kind of thought more people liked small forks, but I guess not. I feel like it's it, it's it's based on what you're eating and also how big your hand is or your mouth really i don't know like if you have a big hand you want a big fork well the stem size is not much different it's the the fork part really yeah 
Sure. <laughs> I feel like when I look at the little fork and the big fork, there's a noticeable difference in the stem and the handle. No, it's just a little bit shorter because of the fork part. Mm. I don't know. We can analyze it. We might have to analyze to it, yeah. Uh, the other poll we took was uh, your tortilla preference. <laughs> These are very important questions, okay? Very important questions. Go find our Instagram and answer these poll questions when we have them out. Um, so nobody said hard shells. Wow. Zero. Um, oh, I find that hard to believe. The number one answer was flour. Of course it was. And then corn. Sorry, producer. Yeah. Flour is superior. Yeah, that's it. That's it? Proved it. <laughs> all right that yeah wraps, that was that was all the polls we had that wraps up our polls our answers from last week yeah i think we're gonna get right into our advice and kind of wrap this up like 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 ashley said this will be a quick episode but uh you know we're here for you guys we're we're not skipping let's go right into advice no one asked for is that the same is that the right button what other what other button? I don't know. Okay, segment button. I'm, I'm, my bad. You Danny, want Danny's new here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Do you want to start with your advice first? Sure. Okay. Thanks. Um, uh, my advice that no one asked for is to leave your comfort zone every once in a while. Uh, that's a good one. So yeah, I've. I've personally been in many situations and I'm still going to have many situations as life goes on because that's just what happens where you have the choice to, you know, either stay in your comfort zone and, you know, be comfortable in your comfort zone yeah, or you have a choice to step out of it and maybe take a risk maybe do something you normally wouldn't do and like you know big or small you know it doesn't always have to be a big decision it could be something very you know minuscule minuscule but every once in a while you gotta just take that little step and you know see what happens yeah it could be something as simple as like wearing a color that you normally would never wear. Oh yeah. That's a big comfort thing, you know? Or, you know, some people stay at jobs for years because they're just comfortable there. They know everybody there. They know how everything works, but like mm -hmm. you never take that step outside to improve your life or your income or whatever it is. Like step out of the comfort zone. Like I'm Yeah. It it's hard. It's very hard, especially if you're happy in your comfort zone. But you know, sometimes you gotta just make that step. Yeah. Yeah, and especially like you said, it it's hard, you know, because if if it's something familiar, something you've known for so long, especially you know, nobody wants to do something that they don't know is gonna work out or you know, people, we're, we're human, we're afraid of change, we're afraid of different. Yeah. And that's, it's okay, you know, most of the time, but every once in a while, you know, take a little bit of a risk and yeah, no, step I, out of it. I had a conversation with somebody today where, you know, they were going to order one pair of boots and they decided to get a different pair of boots because they're they know the that pair of boots and they're like why change something that you know is good don't <laughs> fix what ain't broken yeah yeah i don't agree with those people i didn't agree with it either <laughs> <laughs> he's like i'm not trying to upset anybody man but you know just you know these are i know these are good he's like and the boots that you told me to get, and I didn't get good reviews on those. Like, I told you personally, they were great. And he still ordered the ones he wanted anyway. The yeah. other ones. No, some That's fine, people man. are, even with little things like that, like, 
some people are just stuck in their ways or yeah. they're just more comfortable doing that. Exactly. And that's fine. That's that's completely okay. You know, if that's if you know that they're going to work for you, that's one thing, but you got to step out of your comfort zone eventually. You got to do it. Yeah, you you know, you technically don't have to, but it's recommended. That's my advice to try it. Exactly. Even if it's something like wearing a color you never wear, like you said. Maybe you should try wearing a white shirt one day. Yeah, I did. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I We're getting married. All the bride apparel is fucking white. Tell me why. Well, when you were wearing the white shirt for your bachelorette party, it looked very nice on you. My... Hmm? Wait, no. The after party? Yeah, the after mm-hmm. party. That's what I meant, yeah. I was going to say, I wore a pink shirt from a bachelor. <laughs> yeah, the after party. The after party. It was a white shirt. Thank you. You're welcome. It looked very nice on you. Thanks. It It was uncomfortable, but I did it. Yeah, it's okay. You looked, it looked very nice. Thank you. As, uh, let me just dig myself out of the hole right there. Let me just say, uh, my advice. <laughs> What's your advice? Um... If you feel like it's taking forever, quitting definitely won't get you there any faster. Sometimes when you're working on something and you feel like it's just never going to happen, it's just not, you got to, you got to get out of that mindset. You got to realize, you know, the grind doesn't stop. You have to just grind through it to get to where you want to be, you know, quitting, just getting frustrated and saying, fuck it. I give up. It, that never gets you the results you're looking for. It might be easier. It might sound like a great idea at the time because you're frustrated. Stop, take a deep breath, get some rest, and then keep going. You never want to just quit and give up because, you know, how are you going to live your life like that? I'm a big me. I'm a big what if guy. What if I keep going? You know, what? what's going to happen? Where, where am I going to wind up? What am I going to do? Like, what's going to, you know, what's what's at the end of the road here? I'm a big what if guy. I'm a big, like, you got to do that extra push no matter how hard it is, no matter how, matter, how frustrating it is. You got to just push through. And if you quit, you'll never know. Yeah, if what you, if? Exactly. If you quit, you'll never get there. And then, like, what happens then? Like, how are you going to? I wouldn't be able to sleep. Like, like I said, I'm a big what if guy. Like, what if I get there? Like, what's going to happen? Like, I don't want to be the what if. I, like, oh, what's going to happen if I just give up? Like, I, that's that that's not in my brain. It's, it's not in my vocabulary. It's always push for more. And it's okay to take a break. Exactly. Or take a rest, like you said. Or, you know, have a couple off days. But that doesn't mean you stop. Exactly. You're allowed to take a second take a minute to rest to breathe to catch up but you'd never stop going you just gotta take a take a couple however long of a break you need just don't stop yep just break taking a rest is okay just don't stop good advice thanks your advice is great too thank you all right so anybody have any questions for me <laughs> If you have any questions for me, we're always available. Always available. Reach out to us on, on our Instagram, Next Station Ronkonkoma. Uh, we are not licensed therapists or. What's the other one? Therapists, psychologists, yeah. counselors. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we're not any of those, but we're here for you. We're, we're good friends if you need. If you need any advice. Let um, us know if you want to hear about any other topics. Yeah. Anything else you want us to talk about? Any other food places you want us to try? Give me a name of the restaurant in the town. That's very helpful. Yeah, we always are willing to try for science, you know? Willing to try and travel for food. We do. We do. Um, not 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 often, but um, yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. It's tough nowadays. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> tough right now, but... We still are willing to take your suggestions. Yeah. And we'll let you know what we think. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Don't forget 
to subscribe and share. Subscribe, and like, share. Look out for new episodes every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, 8 a.m. on all your spo- uh, your uh, podcasting platforms. And on YouTube on Wednesdays. Yep, keep an eye out, subscribe so you don't miss it. And like I said before, the more videos you like on YouTube, the faster we'll record a video for you. Only if you subscribe. Only if you subscribe, though. I need proof. Get to it. Screenshot and send. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, you guys have a good one and be safe out there. And uh, who's fucking? Who's fucking? Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Who's fucking?